This is problem 28. <clears throat> it is the perfect problem, as 28 is a perfect number. We need to simplify this radical expression. One thing you want to be careful of, you certainly don't want to say that this is uh, the square root of this difference is equal to the difference of the respective square roots. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. I have a subtraction problem in the radicand, and I have different denominators. So I may not enjoy it, but I need to get a common denominator, which will be a squared b squared. I need to rewrite both fractions so that it has this as the denominator. As you can see, I will need uh, to put a b squared up in the top. This will be x squared b squared. I need an a squared in the numerator of this fraction. This will be a squared x squared. Um, this will be x squared b squared minus x squared a squared all over a squared b squared. I have a common factor of x squared in the top. I'm going to factor that out. This will be the square root of x squared times the quantity b squared minus a squared all over a squared b squared. The square root of x squared over a squared b squared, those will both come out of the radical. I'll have x over a b, but that difference of squares will remain in the radicand. I'll have b squared minus a squared, and this is as simple as I can make this expression. <coughs>